boy J Rock here from the great state of Texas. I want y'all to know, even us Southern boys, we got souls. Okay, cool. So first off, just want to talk about the run that you've had since, you know, the Justin Timberlake project. You worked with Beyonce, Jay-Z, Jennifer Hudson, and now the Michael Jackson project. So kind of talk about this whole run that you've had and how you're feeling. Man, it's so surreal. Kind of feels like, you know, everything that's happening, it's like, you ever hit the lotto, kind of feels like that I've never hit it but I can imagine yeah <laughs> um, you know just a heavy uh of good luck <laughs> yep <laughs> and it kind of seems like it took a minute for you and Timbaland to kind of develop that sound to where it would work on radio. I know when you guys initially worked together a couple of years ago, you guys were putting up material, but it wasn't working on radio. But now it seems like everything that you guys are doing is a hit. So what's the key to making that all come together for you guys? I wish I knew. I wish I knew what was the key in the formula was. So, you know, we, we use it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's passed on to other people. But I guess on it, the only conclusion I can come with is that we as consumers, um, once we are kind of used to a certain product or certain brand, so long we, we become adapted to it. And then when that when that um, trend has been broken or then uh, disrupted in a good way, so on our part, <laughs> yeah, um, you know. People it's often to adapt to change. Yeah. You know, and just I think that's just with every, you know, human, you know, that's used to one certain way and used to get it this certain way and we don't know why we like it, but you know, it's just something that we're used to having and comfortable. Yeah. Once it's, once something like I said has been disrupted and something else has been introduced, you know, and it could be the best product out there. So people kind of like, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm used to Tide, you know, I don't know about this Oxy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's just how it is, you know, with a new product. So I think I can, you know, I can just equate it to that. But then once, you know, people get used to the new sound and they, they like it, then, you know, it's, it's like been hearing it all their lives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is, yeah, it is a bit of the all with the new that we do. Yeah, that's true. And kind of talk about your chemistry with Timbaland and how it's changed throughout the years, because I've noticed with the more recent productions, it's starting to sound like, you know, it seems like you're having a lot more input. There's a lot more musical instrumentation, which I know is your specialty. So have you had more creative control as the time has gone by, or just talk about that a little bit? I'm not going to say more creative control. I always had creative control. I, whenever I'm in partnership with someone, it's not you know because of, um, of you know what they do. It's it's all of what I can bring to enhance what they do better. Yeah. Someone like the part of VASF that commercial, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just take what I have, the experience I have, and I make whatever what am I working with. I bring the best out of what they have as well, and vice versa. But um, I don't know the. I think it's something he's, he's always wanted to do. Yeah. Just didn't have the means of doing it, you know, or the people around him in his camp that you know could be more versatile. You know, as, you know, I, I consider myself pretty versatile and you know pretty cool, you know, pretty well versed in different genres and different styles. So that kind of helps, you know, when he has an idea and he can, you know. And I say, I hear this and I hear that, and I can know exactly what, you know, what he wants and what he hears. So, I, I don't know, it's like just a credit to a credit, good ear that I have that, you know, I could be able to help stylistically change his sound, and but still keep Timbaland, yep. you know, all around it, you know what I mean, like it's Tim, but I just come in, I, you know, I just kind of make it, you know, make it pop out a little better. Of course, you know, but that's, that's always been like that. You know, it's like I said, it's just, you know, you know, sometimes a while for people to kind of catch on to stuff. 
Yeah. And of course, you know, last year you won a couple of Grammys, and your name is becoming bigger and bigger now. And it's the same thing with James Fauntleroy. So was it ever discouraging for you earlier on in your career when the public didn't really notice the work that you were putting in? Nah, I can't say it was because, um, I mean, I've been involved in this thing called music since 94, 95. Yeah. So I think it's just all the part of the process, you know, of, of that everybody goes through. Like, if you're really dedicated to your craft, you're going to have peaks and you're going to have valleys. And I had, you know, had that throughout my career, peaks and valleys. It was just, I was going from, you know, from gospel to jazz to hip hop back to you know gospel then back to R&B you know so I was just I was being what you call a typical musician producer that just loves all types of music whatever I felt like I wanted to do I just just something I just challenged myself to doing so to others it may seem like well you wouldn't notice but to me it was just all part of the process yeah you know in gospel we, we got the same you know uh, acclaim credit you know Yeah. It's just all a part of it. It's like, okay, now I did that. Let me go and try this. You know, I want to do this Let me go and, you know, see what I can do in, in the, you know, jazz, particularly jazz, you know, genre. See how far I can go in that. So everything to me is a challenge. I don't ever look at it, you know, as, you know, I want the public to know this. I don't think it was never like that. Yeah, cool. You know, <laughs> I'm the same type of guy anyway. That's what producers are supposed to do, you know. Yep. <laughs> I'm not saying it's all smoke and mirrors, but you know, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not offended if I don't get, you know, coined in things or if I don't get a credit and stuff, you know, because I mean, I get a check. Yep. <laughs> exactly. So I talked to you about two years ago, and I was asking you about Kerry Hilson's project, and you said that for that album, you wanted the direction to be a little more organic, a little more musical, and I didn't really understand what you meant at the time. And then when Justin Timberlake's album came out, I heard Push Your Love Girl, which obviously got a Grammy. Um, Just talk about that song a little bit, and was that what you were kind of referring to as far as organic and musical? That is one of them. I mean, it organically started out with just straight up beatbox with Tim. Yep. That's how it started, and... It sounded, it, I mean, when he, when he did it, I was like, yo, that has a lot of soul in it. It has a lot of feeling in it. I was like, this, this could be something really good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it almost had that down-home gospel feel to it if you listen to it. Yep. So it, um, but that was kind of the way, direction I wanted to go with Terry. You know, not so down-home, but, you know, more, I don't know. Because that could have been almost like a mini Ripperton type of style yeah. but you know of course up to date it right because she you know she had that touch you know Mary Rippon had that touch you know that sound that soft voice and I think I think Carrie she can she can take over that you know real music but on, for, for the ladies well, you know on the female side you really don't have it right now um, Beyonce is you know Beyonce is Beyonce she's in the category of our stuff so we just need someone that can come in and you know make women feel wanted and loved and feel appreciated and you know and I think Carrie can be the voice that can, that can do that I think she still can do it yeah yep and one of the other songs that you produced, which I was really impressed with, was Rocket by Beyonce. Can you just kind of talk about the production on that one? Because that one, I think that's the type of song that I felt Beyonce was missing in her catalog, that R&B ballad, but it was still cool enough for everyone to listen to. So talk about that song a little bit. Oh, man. That song. We started working on that song. You know how a musician, definitely a musician, you know, you know, you can understand, he's a bad boy. Yep. <laughs> when musicians get along, you know, when you have musicians in the room, you know, and, and if things are not forced or, or kind of co-rehearsed and you just kind of let things happen organically, well, that's kind of how that happens. You know, he's just sitting around the guitar, he just starts playing a couple chords, and, you know, and, you know, we just 
was all kind of, you know, I jumped in. <laughs> yep. Then we, you know, it became this one great idea, and we completed our deal. And we got into New York, and we got to dig it into uh, Beyonce's, you know, a catalog of what, what all we had and what all we didn't have. And uh, Justin was um, like, yo, pull up that track you did in Virginia. So we pulled it up, and, she, you know, it really wasn't lyrics to it yet. It was just kind of like he was just, we was just kind of humming. Yeah. So once we, you know, when she heard, she said, oh, my God, that's so stuff and organic. She, you know, for the first, it was just uh, keyboards, and we were playing a little, you know, fake bass. And Justin and, um, was on guitar, and Kim started humming. And that's what she heard at first, and I took all of those pieces, and I, you know, I, and then I went to start composing and started arranging how the song should be. Yep. Uh, and it just kind of grew from there. Yeah. But it started out real organic, just, just natural. And yeah. Those are the songs that really work with people because it's three emotions, it's two feelings. Yep. Definitely.